Hi everybody, my name is George Tsai and I have set up here today a video demonstration of uh, six different timecode devices, which also includes the Red Epic camera. Um, over here we have two of the Fuse uh, timecode slates. We also have the Denny Key slate over here as well as the Ambient Locket Box. Over here is an early prototype of a timecode generator that I will hopefully I will make available within the coming months. Um, and as I said before, the camera is our sixth timecode reference, and that is a Red Epic. Uh, we also get to see the battery life on this uh, on the Fuse TI slate right, using four AA batteries. Uh, the Denny key that's running on six AA batteries, and our master clock here is already running on a V mount battery, just to show that it can. Um, you can use various sources including you know hobby nickel metal hydrate batteries if you wanted to um, for today's uh, demonstration however um, the double a batteries we'll be using is the duracell copper top dura lock batteries uh, in these three devices these two displays are display only and this display will show the time code coming off of here and this display will show the time code coming off of there so with all that said, um, let's uh, load up all the batteries. Okay, now all the time code are running the same, uh, all synced up. Um, I should also mention that uh, the two displays are running on DC power, external power, as well as this early prototype. So these are the only three devices not on battery. And with that said, um, well, we'll see how this goes.
so from this test, we can see that the ambient locket box surprisingly dies at about 16 hours, which was much uh, shorter than I had expected from that device. Um, the Denny key, the display dis begins to dim uh, a little bit before the fuse slates does from the, um, the battery drain. Um, however, the fuse slate displays brightness really becomes unusable when you get close to about 18 hour mark. Um, and that's when you can see in the test, I go in and plug in an external power and continue to let the slate run without um, re-jamming the time code. In the end, we can see that the camera's time code is much faster than the rest. The few slates time code is a little bit slower than that of the Denny key and almost right on par with the ambient locket box. That pretty much sums it all up. I would like to thank all of you for uh, watching this uh, test and I hope it helps you in making some of the decisions you may have in uh, future purchase of a slate.